head. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the internet, and the like, and welcome back to Team Fortress 2. Today, I'm going to be playing as the engineer on Gravel Pit, and I'm using the shotgun, the Wrangler, and the wrench. And hello everyone, I have just returned from vacation, said goodbye to my older sibling who is leaving for college a few provinces away from me, and on the way back, I have visited the United States of America. And it was a pretty decent vacation. It certainly had its ups and downs. Now unfortunately, the downsides have kind of left me compelled to talk about them in this video, so if you are not a fan of bad stories that happened on vacations or things like that, then stop here. Like, maybe mute the gameplay if you just want to watch it without me rambling on about things that happened during my vacation. Or you can maybe just unsubscribe and go watch someone who is worth your time. But as long as anyone else is still here, all two of you, then I'm just going to get on with the commentary. So day one, we leave from Prince Edward Island to Quebec. And it's about an 8 to 10 hour drive. In theory, we probably could have gone to Ontario under those circumstances, but 8 to 10 hours, and we were leaving at around like 9 or 10 in the morning, we just, we had to go. We pretty much just had to get going and see how much ground we could cover in that time, because of course we would have to stop a couple of places to get food and things like that. It's just a uh, 8 to 10 hour drive, it's not pleasant, I'll tell you that much. In my opinion, I prefer more, sort of, well better timed road trips. Like, five hours or six hours in a car, that's that's fine with me, but ten hours. It's been a while since I've gone on a vacation like this, and man, they're not exactly that pleasant, but at least we have air conditioning, so there, there's, there's not much to complain about. Anyway, we go to Quebec. The first problem that occurs is that we arrive at our hotel. Now, nothing's wrong with the hotel. There's a restaurant across the parking lot from said hotel, so we decide, okay, we should probably just go to a restaurant. Grocery stores probably going to be closing soon. We don't really feel like going to a grocery store at this time anyway. So we go to the restaurant. We find out they're doing renovations at the restaurant, but the bar is still open. There's a bar right next to it that serves pizza and bar thingies. And this is where things kind of go downhill, because for one thing, everyone around me is speaking French, and I'm like the only person who doesn't know any French at all. I know a couple words, but... I didn't really enjoy learning French in school, to be honest, because it was a very crappy Frenchy program. So, we enter the bar, and of course on the door it says, people 18 and up only, and I don't know why, but I get passed off like I'm looking around 18 years or older, even though I'm 16, and I kind of felt like raising an objection to this, but we walk in anyway, we just get ready to order after we've been seated, and then the waitress asks, uh, asks us for our ID. And of course, since I'm 16, I'm just like, well, crap, I do not have an ID. I guess we should go eat somewhere else. So we try to do that. We go to this food court, and there are four restaurants inside said food court. It's not in a mall, it's just this open food court that was sort of nearby the hotel. And it's all pretty cheap food. Once we enter, too, there's also two restaurants that are already closing. But I did manage to get some food. I will say this, it was food. I at least got something into my stomach to keep me going. And I'm not really going to waste my time ranting about how disgusting the food actually was. Now we can move on to days two to four, where we had traveled to Ontario. The places we visited were Brockville and a little bit of Ottawa. And Brockville was nice. I really enjoyed Brockville. The city area really reminded me of Prince Edward Island in a way because there are a lot of similar shops and the layout was also fairly similar. So I enjoyed being there. The hotel was nice. The only reason we only went to Ottawa was because there was an Ikea there. Now, I was perfectly fine for a while because I was not in Ikea. I was in a Starbucks across the parking lot, which was also next to a bookstore, and I decided, well, maybe I should just look at a couple books, drink a bit of coffee, hang out on my iPod, things like that. And then once we're there, they were mostly done shopping. I returned to my family car, and then they say, hey, let's go eat in Ikea. And the first thing that enters my mind is, no, because, guys, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this before, but I'm a person who, in very, very noisy areas, gets anxious. I get anxious. It's just a total symptom uh, system overload for me. And the symptoms, I can finally use that word now, the, the symptoms of me are usually I get extremely stressed, I get angry, I get I'm just really pissed off about being in that place. And 
My head was just pretty much in my hands for all 20 to 30 minutes I was in there eating lunch. We even found like a really somewhat, if you can even consider a, a part of Ikea quiet, we found a sort of quiet area in Ikea where we could eat, but oh my god, it was, it was a horrible experience for me personally, and I'm just really glad that we didn't stay there for too long because once I got back to the car, my head was just in my hands. I was completely stressed out, and... It's something that I never want to experience ever again. Just... I just want to move on from that subject. I, long story short, I hated Ikea so much. I was glad to get back to the hotel and relax for the next couple days. And at the end of our final day in Ontario, it was around the morning, said goodbye to my sister who was going to be there for college, and then we decided to drive out over to Maine. Let me tell you, the drive is about eight hours long, so it's a fairly long drive, and one thing that backfired was that we kind of left a little later than we had originally intended to, and as such, we wouldn't get to our hotel until 11 o'clock at night, which was something we wanted to avoid. The only reason things don't add up here is because if we left at around 10, and 8 hours had passed, we should have arrived at our hotel at 6. And here you can see the problems arise, because we had a few stops to make here or there. We stopped for a bit after we had crossed the US border. We also ate at this very lovely diner called Vancey's, I believe. And we spent pretty much three hours driving in the dark, around the back roads of Maine and along the highway, just... It was not pleasant. It was definitely not pleasant. Come day six, we spent most of our days shopping, because... For anyone who doesn't know, there are some slight differences between the prices in the Canadian dollar and the US dollar. Now, the US dollar tends to have better deals in things like clothing, merchandise, appliances, furniture, all that good stuff. In Canada, it's a bit more expensive than that, and thankfully sales prices were on for clearance over most of their summer items. I got about four things. My parents still did a lot of shopping. Really, I just got four things. And the most, the best thing I had to look forward to at the end of our final vacation day was the fact that after shopping at around 10 or 12 department stores, we ate out at a very fine restaurant called the Texas Roadhouse, which does not take a place in Texas. I'm sure there's a Texas Roadhouse somewhere in Texas, but these restaurants are pretty much all over the place in the U.S. apparently, and they're also planning on expanding, I believe, maybe moving out worldwide, maybe into Canada even. Uh, I'm just kind of going on a tangent. Anyways, the Texas Roadhouse was pretty amazing. Had very, very good steak. And finally, the next day after, we left back for Prince Edward Island, which was about a six-hour drive. And once we got home, spent about an hour unpacking, and then I spent maybe about six or seven hours in front of my computer. So as you can see, I spent my time really well yesterday. And that mostly concludes all I wanted to discuss about my vacation. I hope you enjoyed this little session of story time. Granted, since I covered a lot of the negative aspects, it probably wasn't the most enjoyable thing you've ever listened to. Yo, I will mention two good things about this vacation. One, the people were extremely nice, very hosp hospitable people, especially in Maine. And two, the food was delicious. I, I loved eating out at a lot of the restaurants we went to, Vancey's, Texas Roadhouse, a couple diners here and there, it's just fantastic, fantastic food, guys. And that's pretty much all I have to comment on now, I guess I could say. There is something I quickly want to note about my following future videos, is for the next three or four days, I will be pretty busy, because since we returned back from our vacation, have a lot of house cleanup to do, have to get all my schoolwork prepared for the following school year. It's gonna be a little bit busy in preparation for both those things, and as such, I will not have time for video games in these following few days. I do apologize for that because I know I have to complete Serious Sam the Second Encounter. If anyone watches my playthroughs, that is the game I'm currently playing. And I highly apologize for this. Right after I get myself sorted out and my schedule is back in order, I will find the time to do that. I can guarantee that for you. In the meantime, you can probably go watch somebody who is much more worth your time and much better at this game than me. And yeah, that's it. I just hope to see you in a couple of days. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day or evening. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.